Hi there, so this is going to be a really short video because I just wanted to talk about what you would do if you wanted to develop our Vampire Survivor series on Unity 6. So our tutorial series has been released back in 2022, that's three years ago. And in that time, a lot of Unity versions have come and the most important version that has come is Unity 6 because quite a couple of things have changed from Unity 6 to the time that we have developed this tutorial. So I just wanted to go through the key things that you want to look out for, right? If you want to follow our tutorials for your own projects. So first, can you follow our tutorials? Yes, a lot of the code base still applies to Unity 6. A lot of the code will still work the same. You just got to pay attention to just three specific sequences and just one setting that you got to pay attention to when you start the project. I mean, just get into it so you, you, you know what I'm talking about. If you want to create this project on Unity 6, I'm sure you know how to create a new project if you've watched our other video on getting started with Unity, that should cue you in on that. So one of the main differences between Unity 6 right, and the older versions of Unity is that older versions of Unity give you the option to create a 2D project with a built-in render pipeline and this is what we originally used in the Vampire Survivors project but our project has no problem if you use the universal render pipeline as well and that will be the default in Unity 6. So when you create your project and you're using Unity 6, just create a, Unity, a uni, universal 2D version of the project. Totally fine if you want to really stick to our, our specs, you can still get the 2D built-in render pipeline but you have to download the template and I advise against it because Unity is phasing it out. So what you will see mainly are just some interface differences because we're working with sprites, right? You won't really see that big of a difference with the way you set up the visuals because the difference between the built-in render pipeline and the universal render pipeline that Unity 6 has you use is that the universal render pipeline has a slightly different way of building materials but that doesn't really apply to us because we are not going to be messing with materials we will just be using sprites for like 95% of our project that's the first thing second thing is when you write the code for the project right just three things you gotta watch out for so the first thing you'll watch out for is that you have to make sure that wherever we are using a rigid body velocity so when you if you're new to unity and you're just following our tutorials just remember that whenever you do an rb.velocity right instead of using rb.velocity you want to use rb.linear velocity because that is the new thing that uh, unity 6 is using actually that's the only thing you have to remember when you when you want to develop a unity 6 because the other two things that i'm going to cover with you right it really doesn't matter if you use the older functions okay but this is an older property that you have to be aware of and the other thing is that when you are following our tutorials you will see we use find object of type and find objects with an s here of type at certain parts of our script i'm going to show you what you can replace these functions with the old functions still work they're just not very optimal so if you want your game to run as fast as possible you want to replace these functions okay find objects of type with the s it's just a lot simpler you just change it to find objects by type and over here you just have to put a argument here find object sort mode and just do a dot none like this okay so wherever you have find objects of type you change this to find object by type and then find object sort mode dot none and the other the other one find object of type right you want to change this to find any object by type so these are the two changes that you want to make wherever you see these functions in unity 6 and you can choose not to not to change them if you find them confusing it's just that if you have these changes it makes your project run faster these are optional changes you only do this if you want to optimize your project and make sure it runs as fast as possible in our project there, there are quite a few instances where you where we use find object of type and find objects of type so you will have to pay attention to these instances and replace all of them again or you can use the old versions totally fine if you want to see an explanation of why why unity has made these changes we also have a video that explains why find objects of type became obsolete in Unity 6. Obsolete just means that the function is going to be replaced in the future. I don't know when they're going to do it, but it seems to be tabled for Unity's future that they will remove these functions. I hope not, so that these old projects remain compatible. Now, third thing you want to pay attention to when you create a new project in Unity 6, right? Because our project uses the older Unity input system, older doesn't mean worse. I actually find it better, but this will be up for debate but i think the older input system is much easier to use it's much more user friendly but when you start a project in unity 6 right by default your project will be on the new input system so the third thing you want to do is when you start a project in unity 6 is to go to edit project settings and from here what you want to do is just find there will be a couple of drop downs that you can open up here 
a, co a couple of foldouts and you want to just find the active input handling and change the active input handling from input system package new over to either input manager old or both i suggest just using the old input manager and just click on apply I've got to wait a couple of minutes after that to let unity restart and then it will use the old input system so these are the three things that you have to take note of there are bound to be some other minor I say minor because really they're minor, minor changes in the code and for these problems you can go to our forums the forums are at blog.terrasquare.slash community there is a forum right here that you can post any questions that you have but again 99% of the Unity code base is still the same this project still works in 2025 so happy developing the biggest problem I think you'll run into is just the difference in the Unity interface this is Unity 2021 versus if you are using Unity, Unity 6 is right here. So you may find some buttons in different places. So when you follow our videos, because we're using an older version, you just gotta search a little bit more to find the right buttons. And really that's about it. And you can refer to our video. If you went through our video playlist for this series, you'll find the high, at the top end of the playlist, you will see a guide on the Unity interface. So you wanna just watch through that and that will be very helpful for getting familiar with the interface. Because once you get familiar with it, you'll be able to find the buttons no matter where Unity moves it to or when Unity hides it. So that's all for this video. I'm gonna put another video together that talks about how to upgrade this project to Unity State.